Vincent, welcome to our AP chemistry class. There's an open seat here right next to Jimmy. Why don't you sit there? I just rang two minutes ago, and you have your second period in this class. Calm down, Mr. Simpson. I'm just kidding. All right, so what's the so-called urgent news? Last time you had urgent news, it was, well, you know, not so urgent. <laughs> it's serious this time. The new kid, Vincent, he's up to something. I don't know what it is, but I got a weird feeling about him. He had a folder labeled Serenium, with other words in a different language. And all throughout class, he was mumbling under his breath, not English. Zerinium? Like the fake element from those crazy conspiracy theories? That stuff is highly radioactive. Yes. So maybe he's a crazy bilingual conspiracy theorist. <laughs> I don't know. That still doesn't seem right. Look, I gotta go. Let's do some research overnight and uh, meet back here tomorrow after school. Got nothing better to do. anything? Yeah, what about you? Nothing. What? You're the genius computer expert here. All right, here's what I found. Vincent's online presence is completely fake. His email, socials, everything. And there's more. Serenium is real, and the government is using our school's lab to store and test it. Look at these emails. Of course it couldn't have been that Vincent's just some crazy conspiracy theorist from Eastern Europe. It had to be that he's probably a spy who's gonna ruin the world because of our school's lack of security. We can't let him get his hands on this. I know, but what are we gonna do? I mean, if we tell anybody, we're gonna get expelled. I mean, we literally hacked into the school's database. Then I guess it's up to us. We have to act fast. We can't let him get his hands on the Zerinium. How do you know he's gonna be here? He's been busy in lab every day after school for the past week. I, I had to get him here today. Of course you did. He knows we're on to him, just like normal. Sup, Vincent? Well, turns out you were right about Vincent. We called the government after all of that stuff you told us yesterday, and, well, we're handling the rest. The world owes you a debt of gratitude. However, the school has no choice but to expel you both. You hacked our database and our computer system. Don't act so surprised. There'll be no dispute. I appreciate you guys changing your mind about not telling us, but this is final. 